Okay. So it is completed the answer. Any doubt? Okay. So somebody will you answer this question? Amal, Dom, Hari, Vishnu, Praveen, anybody? Sir. Oh, okay. Sir, Adi, comment is in the Vinisha Jindal Shadi. Yes. Pinne, Arthur, come with the government vacancy center, former city, but for written records are already efficient, but she no time is to pull a consigi. Pinne will long for car, Padinabar and Gorchud. ऑर्गेनाइज़ेशन <laughs> Uh, Okay, so let's start. Uh, we'll discuss the idea. So here, uh, the question asked for communication. That is, communication represents the nerves of government, and uh, it says that how can the communication system in government be made more effective, responsive, and motivational? So you need to focus on few things. First, in the introduction, you are going to mention about the uh, communication. You are going to mention about the communication mechanism. Uh, when you mention or give the introduction of communication, you should have add the idea of Peter Drucker. You should mention the idea of Peter Drucker. That is, Peter Drucker mentioned that the sound uh, communi uh, strong uh, communication is required to improve, uh, develop a sound administration. That uh, quote should be given in your introduction. And after that, you can also mention the importance of this is mentioning about the uh -huh. uh -huh. Which one? Of management, system. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. In the second part, uh, that is uh, introduction. Uh, after introduction, you are going to mention about the importance of communication. So. For that, it would be better to draw a diagram that is communication, importance of communication. You say that it is important for informal organization. It is important for accountability. Uh, it is important for decision making. It is important for efficiency. All these conditions should be given as a draw diagram or a short de de definition or short uh, idea. 
and uh, the other idea that how can the communication system in the government be more more effective how it can be uh, made more effective for that you need to add few important concepts that is how it can be made more effective first one give, give the idea of or mention the idea of computer systems so e governance machinery for that you can give examples such as garuva this is an m governance tool and also there is cp grams and there is uh, uh, e government mechanisms e government mechanism where everything was made uh, through the electronic system so that can also be uh, given as an example and similar one uh, you can add uh, improve the connection between or interpersonal relation and development of informal organization within the organization informal informality or informal or development of informal organization participation of various groups or you can also mention about the uh, systems uh, and other things related to uh, communication that should be uh, given as the example that is enough for uh, answering the first, second part of the question and related to effectiveness related to that is enough and for responsiveness you can add more content Re responsiveness and motivation you can add more content for example contents relevant for uh, responsiveness includes uh, Uh, the social data, for example, we can say machine learning, artificial intelligence, etc. Uh, currently, it is being utilized in uh, GST uh, network and all. Uh, GST and all, it is. It can also be utilized. And related to motivation, you need to say an office integrated office communication mechanism should be brought together. If there is an integrated office mechanism communication system is there, it can be efficient in both in. Uh, an administrative paradigm and also in the uh, right now the issues such as covid uh, covid and all it will be very good so uh, all these examples should be there and answer should be in a success structure am i clear any doubts then you can com uh, conclude with the uh, idea of uh, in the current dynamic situation communication in the government would help to improve the idea of responsiveness for example from a uh, Bentham Stokes law or idea of non-responsive government or reactive government, we can move to a proactive government if there is enough communication. You can also quote some case studies, examples, etc. Answer. Am I clear? Any doubts? Yes, sir. सर मोटिवेशनल पार्टियाँ Uh, information uh, we can also focus on uh, the work of uh, a strong communication mechanism and authoritative hierarchical mechanism can also be identified informal nalla part ana kodile focus yes yes informal should be informal organization should be understood okay any other doubt okay then uh let's see oh, okay lingesh yes lingesh any doubt oh, yes yes um uh, how many points should be right for the uh, like the second part of the question so like uh, how the system can be made more effective and responsive and motivation and uh, on an average how many points will be expected from us so? uh, on an average it would be better to ha have minimum of two maximum of four or five for each topic ah uh, yes yes okay, okay. Uh, it would be better to give examples as well give examples in okay. the uh, points as well okay okay so we are moving to the next question morale can drive an organization forward or can lead to employee discontent poor job performance and absenteeism examine This is a ten marker question. You have seven minutes. Complete it by four o'clock. Start writing. Huh? 
so let's discuss this question morale can drive an organization forward or can lead to employee discontent poor job performance and absenteeism example how will you answer this question ഉണ്ട്സ് <laughs> 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 ും <laughs> 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 രണ്ട് പാർട്ടായിട്ട് തിരിച്ചു അതേപോലെ <laughs> 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 Krishna, anything to add? Okay, then uh, we will discuss. Uh, that is, uh, in this idea, you need to uh, have a basic idea of morale. That is, start with the idea of definition. That is, uh, whenever there is a keyword is asked in your, or uh, syllabus topic is added in your, uh, added in your question, you are going to uh, mention about the Uh, idea of that itself that is definition of that itself that is you are going to mention about morale how it can drive the organization or you can define the uh, morale and after that you can mention that high morale or how how and high morale can result in uh, organization moving forward or helping the organization that can be mentioned and after that you need to mention about the issues of even though there is high morale in the there may not be high productivity there are other factors that may result in the uh, employee discontent poor job performance absenteeism etc for example a negative morale or we can say a morale in the direction of opposite to the organizational goals that may result in the uh, output of uh, a negative output of uh, organization that should be mentioned so for, to answer this question you just need the idea of uh, the morale just go through morale and there is a graph depicting that a basic morale is required but uh, even though it is increased to a very high level there may not be a productivity increase and if in the case of if the organizational interest is not aligned or individual interest is not aligned with the organizational interest then there is a high chance that the same morale may result in the negative aspect that is it is an ability of group to move together that is if the group is not focusing on the organizational output it result in employee discontent poor job performance absenteeism etc you can mention the idea of um, idea from the taylor's ideas the rule of thumb etc all these uh, initiated from the uh, poor 
and uh, non focused moral that is all, the entire group will be trying together to uh, work against the organizational interest or organizational life so mention that and complete your answer and finally you mentioned that moral in in addition to the uh, subordination of individual to individual interest to organization goal motivation and participatory management mechanism management mechanism helps to ensure better job performance submit that and uh, conclude with that and submit your answer that is the only thing we require clear okay so we are moving to the next question this is moral moral next question is abraham maslow's hierarchy of needs and frederick hasbrook's two factor theory how commonalities in the analysis of human motivation comment uh, this is a 50 marker question start writing uh, you have time till 420 start writing okay so we are going to discuss about the next question that is abraham maslow's hierarchy of needs and frederick hasbrook's two factor theory how commonalities in the analysis of human motivation how will you answer this question yes ഡിഫറൻസ്ൂഡ് <laughs> പറഞ്ഞത് <laughs> 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 ഒരുപാട് ഫാക്ടേഴ്സ് ഒരുമിച്ച് ആക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെന്നാണ് പറഞ്ഞത് പിന്നെ മാസ്ലോ നീഡ് ബേസ്ഡ് ആണ് പറഞ്ഞത് ഹൈസ്ബർഗ് ഗോൾ ബേസ്ഡ് ആണ് പിന്നെ മാസ്ലോ പറഞ്ഞ എല്ലാ ഫാക്ടേഴ്സിനും ഒരേ ഇമ്പാക്റ്റ് ആണ് മോട്ടിവേഷൻ ഉള്ളതെന്നാണ് എല്ലാ നീഡ്സിനും 
പക്ഷേ ഹേസ്ബർഗ് പറഞ്ഞു എം ഫാക്ടർ ഉള്ള ആൾക്കാർക്ക് കുറച്ചുകൂടി ലോങ് ലാസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയി മോട്ടിവേഷൻ ഉണ്ടാവും എന്നാ പറഞ്ഞു ഐഡന്റിഫൈ theory and if you as this is a 50 marker or 20 marker question you have enough space uh, you can also give uh, some space to draw a diagram no issues with that draw a diagram as well and after that you need to mention about uh, the commonalities in the commonalities you can mention about the satisfies and dissatisfies lower order needs and higher order needs that is you should compare with the uh, satisfies and higher order needs and also dissatisfies and lower order needs how it is improving the organizational motivation mention that and similar commonalities or uh, you just search for this you will definitely get much more content add those content in the first part and after that you are going to mo- focus on the differences in the differences first uh, difference should be the prepotency of need that is maslow mentions about the prepotency of need at the same time hertzberg suggests about the multiple ideas or multiple motivational factors acting in a single period of time that is second one first point that should be the first point and the uh, next one is uh, need based and goal based and also uh, how the motivation is going to affect an individual these things should be here and so give examples for these answers and it will be a very wonderful answer and finally you should mention about the uh, idea uh, maslow's high ideas is little bit classical in sense or uh, he is uh, suggesting a one best way of motivating individual at the same time uh, hertzberg's idea is little bit situational or it will always determine defined on the ideas of situation you can conclude with that or you can also add the same idea in the uh, content part as well and complete it with the importance of motivation and how, how it may affect the organization that is enough for answering this question can make clear any doubts so these are the questions uh, for today uh, tomorrow we will continue the uh, topic that is we need to complete the uh, chapter 3 tomorrow and after that we will start chapter 4 and so on so thank you uh, if you have any doubts or issues please do contact in telegram uh, ask your doubts in our discussion group we will answer that and do ra- practice answer writing regularly because answer writing is very critical for your optional examination and optional mark in optional optional plays a major role in determining whether you are inside the list or outside it So thank you all you will see you again tomorrow tomorrow same time same time